everyone. Today I wanted to talk about a problem that a lot of horse owners have and this is how to get your horse to lift their feet. And if you haven't already, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel for more weekly horse videos. All right, so my first tip for when you go to pick up your horse's hooves is to first secure your horse. You can tie them, put them in the cross ties, have someone hold them. What I'm gonna do since we're out here, I'm just gonna ground tie him. He's pretty good with that, so I'll just throw my lead rope on the ground. Real quick, I'm just gonna review how to pick up your horse's hoof. If your horse has a hard time picking up its feet, one reason may be because you may be asking them to do it wrong. So I'll just review this real quick. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is position yourself correctly. So if you're picking up one of the front legs, what you're gonna do is you're gonna stand beside the leg you wanna pick up and you wanna make sure you're perpendicular to the horse. So you're forming a right angle. So with the shoulder, I'm here. And then with the hind leg, you know, I'm gonna stand right beside there like this. The reason I stand to the side is because I don't wanna pick up the leg and I stand in front and I accidentally get kneed or I stand back here and they pull back and I accidentally get walloped. So you wanna stand beside the leg that you're picking up. All right, so once I position myself next to the horse, I'm just gonna let the horse know I'm here. I can pet him up on their shoulder or on their rump. The thing is, if you stand next to your horse and then you immediately go to touch their leg, they may be like, whoa, what's going on? So I can pet him and let him know that I'm here. And then I can rub my, run my hand down their leg just so they know my intention and see, just running my hand down his leg, he's like, oh, she wants me to pick up my hoof. So a lot of horses will immediately pick up their feet when you go to do that. So then I'll do the hind end. So let him know I'm here, let him know my intention. And see, he immediately starts to shift his weight and he's like, oh, she wants me to pick up my hoof. Good boy. Okay, so the next thing you need to know to pick up the horse's hoof are some pressure points you can use to ask the horse to pick up their feet. So there are three that I know of that I always use. You have the chestnut, which is on the inside of the horse's leg, up on the foreleg, and it looks like a scab. So you can pinch the chestnut and see, he'll shift his weight when I do that. The next pressure point you can use is if you run your hand down here, and he'll just pick up his foot anyway, between, you can feel there's two bones. There's one here and there's one here. And so if you run your fingers in between, you can feel that there's kind of a, a groove or a gap where there's a tendon. You can pinch in between there to ask your horse to pick up their feet. So I'll show you guys. So I'll just pinch lightly and he'll pick up his foot. Good boy. The last point you can use is the hair on the fetlock. So, if you look for the feathers on your horse's legs, like right here, that's kind of the fetlock. So you can just pull up on that hair or you can pinch and then they'll pick up their foot. So another important thing to know is how to actually hold the hoof once you have it up off the ground. All right, so when I pick up my horse's hoof, it's important that number one, you are still standing next to the horse. Some I've seen some people, you know, when you teach beginner lessons, they'll be like this. And I'm like, no. <laughs> Or they'll just kind of like be like this. So you want to stand next to the horse um, and then you want to hold the hoof with your hand closest to the horse. And that way you just have good leverage and you can control kind of what's going on more. And then you can use your other hand to pick out the hoof. So another point I want to touch on is putting the horse's hoof back on the ground. I've seen a lot of people go like this. Okay. <laughs> well, first of all, if you're in a barn aisle and you just drop your horse's hoof and their hoof hits the concrete, you can cause bruising on the hoof. But that's also teaching the horse to just put their foot down. So that means they'll figure out, oh, well I can just put my foot down whenever, instead of me just gently placing it back on the ground for them. And they learn that I have to put the hoof down and it's also a lot more gentler and relaxed. It's not gonna surprise the horse and nothing like that's gonna happen. Can I help you, young man? Okay, so before we get into how to actually pick up your horse's feet, if they don't wanna pick them up, Real quick, I just wanna cover some safety tips just so you can stay safe when you're working with your horse. So how many of you have been to horse camp and you're walking around and you see all the little lesson kids like this? This is a big no-no, okay? So you wanna stay on your feet when you're picking out your horse's hooves. If you're kneeling or you're sitting on the ground, that's a safety hazard because if the horse starts to freak out, you're not gonna be able to get out of the way quick enough and you could get stepped on or kicked or run over. So you wanna make sure you stay on your feet the best thing for you to do is bend at your waist and you can just bend down and hold the hook like this. If you're nervous about picking up your horse's feet because you're scared they're gonna kick you and all that stuff, the best thing for you to do is stand as close as you can to the horse's leg. And that's because if you're close to them, 
they can't get enough power to kick you. So if you're standing out far, you know, it's easy for them to extend their leg and use their power compared to where if you're standing close, they can only kick you like that. You want to stand as close as you can to them in case they go to kick you. So there's going to be a lot less power to that if you're close to them compared to if you're farther away. So another thing to be aware of is that a lot of horses have problems with their feet being handled because it isn't done enough. So horses learn by repetition. So if you want to get your horse to a place where they can pick up their feet and you can hold them effectively and they're not trying to pull away or freak out, you need to pick up their feet and be handling their legs every day. So one reason your horse may have difficulty picking up their feet is because they're off balance and they find it difficult to stay balanced when you're holding their hoof. So if your horse has difficulty just lifting their feet even, one thing you can do is I'm gonna just get him to bend his neck towards me and this will help him shift his weight onto his opposite foot. So then this foot becomes the one that the weight isn't on and it'll be much easier to pick up that way. So we've gotten to the point you've all been waiting for. It's time to talk about the common problems people face when dealing with a horse that doesn't want to pick up their feet. So the first common problem we're going to cover are those horses that just don't pick up their feet. This could be because they don't know how, they were never taught. Or it could be because they've become dull to the cues that people give and they're just like, oh, I'm not going to do it. So I'm going to show you how you can teach your horse to become more sensitive to the cues and how to learn to pick up their feet if they've never been taught. So the way I'm going to teach a horse to pick up their hooves is, you know, I'll start by, you know, making sure they're comfortable with their legs being touched and everything. But then when I go to cue them to pick up their feet, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one of my pressure points. So I'll just use a tendon so you guys can see. And I'll start by just applying a light pressure. And I'll hold that for a few seconds. And if they don't shift their weight or if they don't pick up their hoof, I'll apply a heavier pressure. So I'm just squeezing harder. And I'll keep gradually progressing. I'll keep squeezing harder, harder until either the horse shifts their weight to the other foot. And even if the horse even shifts their weight, I'm going to release the pressure and then I'll just stand up and let them relax a minute because you need a, a good release for them to learn that that's the response that you wanted. And so you can keep doing this until eventually I pinch, he picks up his hoof like that, okay? And then I'll just put it down. And even if he just picks up his hoof for a second, I'll stop and I'll reward him. Good boy. So the next point we're gonna cover is a horse that likes to pull their foot away from you when you have it picked up or that likes to slam their foot back down on the ground. So one quick tip is if your horse is trying to pull their hoof away from you, one thing you can do is tip their toe up like this and that will kind of take the power away from them. So if your horse is pulling on their hoof, one thing you can do is even if there's like a split second where they stop pulling, you put their hoof down. And this is just so they learn that if they're pulling their foot, you're not gonna release it, but you'll release the foot once they stop and they stand still. So let's say your horse is able to get their foot away from you. Okay, so one thing you can do is a, as soon as they put their hoof on the ground when they pull away from you, you can immediately pick the hoof back up. And even if you just hold it for a second, that will make a big enough impact on them because they're learning, oh, well, I can't control when I put my feet down. That's up to the person handling me. So another thing you can try is if you're first starting to work with your horse and they can only hold their hoof for so long and then they put their hoof down, is that you can just do this at increments at a time. So like hold their hoof for a few seconds and then put it down on the ground before they can start pulling away. And then you can just gradually start increasing the time that you're holding the hoof, but always make sure you're putting down the hoof when they're not pulling on you. Or you can just switch it up. So in the beginning, you know, you can hold this foot, clean out half of it, put it down, do the rest, come back, hold this foot, clean out half of it, and put it down. And that way, the horse is just getting used to their feet being handled, and they're also, you know, learning to hold their foot up for a longer period of time and allow you to hold it up. So another common problem you may have with your horse is they may start leaning on you when you have their hoof picked up. So I'm gonna show you a quick fix you can try with that to help get their balance back on the other foot and so you're not holding all their weight. So let's say your horse starts leaning on you. I'm gonna show you two things you can do to help them shift their weight back over. So the first thing you can do is just bump them with their, your shoulder like this. I'll keep doing this until they lean on the other foot. And you can start off lightly and if they don't shift their weight, you can get a little bit more rough with them. And another thing you can do is you can take your hand and just kind of scratch right here and push in. 
and that will help them shift their weight back over because they'll have to lift their back and shift their weight. And so as soon as the horse shifts their weight onto the other foot, you can put their hoof down as a reward and then you can just pet them and let them know that that's what you wanted. So on this point, we're gonna cover horses that like to start to walk away or move away from you when you start to try and handle their legs. So horses will move away from something that they're uncomfortable with. So if your horse is starting to move away when you go to handle their legs, it's probably because they're a little uncomfortable with their legs being touched and their feet being handled. So if you have a horse that's uncomfortable with their legs being touched, one thing you can try is taking a lunge whip or a carrot stick and I'm just gonna start getting my horse used to feeling on their legs with the carrot stick. And this is just to kind of protect you. You know, if your horse isn't comfortable with their legs being touched and you walk back there, the horse may be more apt to kick out or freak out and run away from you. So I'm gonna get them used to the carrot stick on their legs or the lunge whip. And I can go all over their legs. I'll go on the inside and I'll go on the outside and down by their hooves. So let's say you start to work the lunge whip down your horse's legs and you hit a point that makes the horse move and the horse starts to move away from this and they're like, oh my gosh, what is that? So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go with my horse first of all and I'll take my lunge whip back up to the, a place where they were comfortable with it. So that may even be up here. So if I start to work my way down, the horse starts to kind of dance around and move right here. I'm gonna bring my lunge whip back up here to where they're comfortable. And if the horse is really freaking out, I can just take my lunge whip away until they stop. So once your horse is comfortable with the lunge whip being rubbed all over their legs, then you can start rubbing their legs with your hands. And remember at this point, your goal isn't to pick up the feet. Your goal is to simply show that your touch on their legs is good and it's relaxed and you can rub your hand all up and down their legs on the inside. And you can do the back legs too. Rub my hands down on the inside. Just to make the horse comfortable, I can massage the legs and make it feel good to them. And at this point, you can start asking the horse to pick up their feet. So when they're comfortable with you touching their legs, then you can start applying just a little pressure. You're just gonna do the exact same thing we covered in the first point. I'll apply a little pressure and I'll gradually increase until the horse either shifts their weight or picks up that foot. Then I'll release and reward them. And then I can gradually ask for more pressure and ask for the horse to hold their foot up longer. So one of the main reasons you're gonna to need to be able to pick up your horse's hoof is so you can clean it out. So we have a whole video dedicated to teaching you how to clean out a horse's hoof. I'll put the link in the description so you can go check that out. So if you got any value out of this video, please hit the subscribe button and give us a thumbs up and we'll see you guys next time.